Welcome uh, to another tutorial session of App V5. Uh, installing and configuring App V5 client. Uh, the demo shows you how to install and configure App V client on the client machine. We will also go through how to automate App V5 client through Active Directory group policies. What we're going to do is uh, install the required, required components for App V client install the appv client and configure the appv client through uh, powershell then we're going to take a look at uh, active directory group policies and how to automate appv5 client installation and we're going to test the test the appv client installation through group policy okay um, if you're going to install manually you have to know uh, which uh, operating system you have if you're going to use these two if you use this one it will detect automatically what uh, computer operating system you are using and, and it will install all the required components for you so uh, the required uh, components you need before you install the yeah, the app v uh, i'm use i'm on a 64 bit version of of uh, operating system is the you need first the microsoft visual c++ 2005 x86 version and it's 8.0.6 1001 and uh, also microsoft visual c++ 2005 x64 version uh, 8.0.6.1000 and the third and the last you need the uh, uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 x64 version 10.0.4219 you can download these uh, packages uh, from uh, Microsoft website I've already done that and I've already extracted them here. Uh, you don't need to extract them if you're going to install it manually. It'll just extract it for you. But I did it because uh, I'm going to use it for uh, the group policy automation. So let's start installing the app client just uh, with a regular uh, setup here. So it will detect automatically the OS. Oh, uh, it's best to uh, start the installation using Run as Administrator. And as you can see, I'm running uh, Windows 8 here. Operating system. And it's 64 bit, as you can see. And it's uh, connected to the domain. No, okay, let's go install the client. You will have to read the license agreement and accept the license terms. Use Microsoft Windows Update and join the customer experience, Im experience improvement program if you want to. And then just install. This will take a few moments and I will get back to you when it's finished. Now the installation ha has uh, completed. So I'll just click close. Then I need to configure uh, AV to talk to the publishing server. Uh, if you want to see the PowerShell commands that are in uh, AppV, you can go and left click the orange box here and click on open. And it should open here PowerShell. Sorry, the 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 um, app v window. Here on the bottom bottom you can see PowerShell commands. Click on that and you can see the all the uh, PowerShell uh, features that you can use. So let's start by 
clicking on start menu and type in PowerShell click on run left click and run as administrator you can uh, see there's no app v commands available now so we have to start by oh well, there it is sorry you can set by set the app v publishing server the name sorry I need to do the set execution and and let's see set execution policy remote signed scope process force and import module app v client then we can set the app v app v publishing server here there's no server there sorry it was at app v publishing server that's name app v srv01 and there is uh, the url url which is http p dot uh, let's see uh, one and the port name is 81 for the publishing server then we, there we have it we have configured the app publishing server you can just type sync app app publishing server but I don't have any application published so there are no applications okay let's take a look at how to automate the app v installation uh, as I said uh, you need to download these components here these uh, Visual C++ components uh, from Microsoft website and also it's good to download MDOP uh, ATMX template uh, which uh, which is the uh, policies for AppV so let's start by uh, creating a OU here AppV clients um, I'm going to revert the client machine to so uh, so it's clean with no AppV and uh, just going to show you that in a few moments now we have created the AppV clients and added the the client machine here to this OU we go to uh, the group policy uh, management console we can type in just G gpmc ms.msc and we go into that here we have app v clients and we create a gpo in this domain we call it app v client App v client installation uh, I created a directory here it's called uh, remote install GPO and it's shared uh, with a dollar sign and uh, everyone can access this directory so let's uh, just 
edit the policy go to computer configuration software installation new package and go to sorry uh, ad srv01 that's a remote install gpo dollar and we install the 86 version of visual c plus plus and we set the 64 bit version and then we set the 2010 version here which is also 64 bit version and then we set the app v client which is app v client and site uh, uh, x64 open that now we're done with the software installation so I've uh, installed already installed the mtap atmx template which is which uh, will show you this this here see system app v it's called the policy definitions when we go to publishing and set the publishing server we set it to enabled we call it app v srv01 and the url app v srv01 dot app dot local dot local and the port which is 81 and we can change this configuration if you like but I'm just going to leave this as default and I click OK and then I'm done basically now I'm going to revert, revert the app client as you can see here um, we have the app v client here uh, let's go to programs and features we have all the all the stuff here available for us in the uh, this on this client so when I revert the machine uh, it will disappear it's, it will take a few moments and just hang on okay I have rebooted the machine and, uh, and reverted the machine um, as I said in previous sessions I'm running on Hyper-V so I can revert machines um, if you go to the application uh, manager here. I'm sorry, it's appwiz.cpl programs and features. There are no application installed. Uh, now I'm going to uh, run a GPO update. Uh, force and boot it will uh, reboot the machine I think uh, you might need to reboot to it twice uh, I'm just going to test it and I'll show you why you need to reboot twice and the app that is running you don't have to do this each time uh, you add a computer it's just to make it more quick okay and uh, let's wait until the computer has finished restart okay the client machine has finished uh, boot so let's check if if everything is correctly installed um, you can see that there is no app v client here if you go to our 
rsop.msg. We can see, you see here, yeah, the client is installed, so I only need it one time. But if you get a warning sign on the app V, you might need to uh, reboot one more time. So it's basically, as you can see here, if you do, if you get the warning sign here and everything okay here, then then you just need to reboot one more time. Okay, and let's go. Let's go to PowerShell and check if the settings are correct. Share PowerShell get app v publishing server. Import module app v client. Mm, ah, sorry. The scripts are disabled, so I need to set the execution policy. Set execution policy. Policy. See the parameters in the commands here. Set execution policy, remote signed, scope, uh, process, uh, force. As you can see here. Then we need to import app. Uh, module app v client and get publishing server. I need no oh, sorry get app v publishing server. And you see this is the settings I used in the policy, the group policy, and it's it's everything automatic now. Now, this is basically done, so I'm looking forward to creating the next, next session, tutorial session. So, just thanks for watching.